Divine Aquarius Canis. As Hyoga's mentor, he can emit extremely cold, close to absolute zero. Despite his perpetually cool and stoic bearing, he has a warm, passionate heart. He always strives to fight as a saint with unyielding integrity and a firm stance against evil. Today, we will be sharing some tips on how to make use of Divine Aquarius Camus. Divine Aquarius Camus's survivability is incredibly high. He possesses invincibility and damage reflection skills. These characteristics determine his fighting style and make him a formidable fighter. Skills. Let's take a look at his skills. Skill 1. Ultimate Freezing Punch. A basic attack skill that can apply ice, seal, and frost. It doesn't rank high in skill priority, so players can max it much later. Skill 2. Ultimate Aurora Execution. A cosmic AoE attack that doesn't deal high damage. It's mainly used to freeze enemies inflicted with ice seal. Given its excellent control capabilities, players are recommended to max out this skill. Skill 3. Ultimate Freezing Coffin. This is a passive skill. Once it's maxed out, Divine Aquarius Camus will gain invincibility and immunity for two rounds. He will also be able to reflect a large amount of damage when freezing coffin shatters, effectively shocking enemy saints who use AoE attacks. Players are recommended to max this skill first. Skill 4, Ultimate Ice Ring. This is a passive control skill that targets enemy saints with high SPD. It can restrict enemy saints with high SPD without costing an action. However, it's rather limited. You should upgrade this skill to level 4. Divine Aquarius Camus mainly relies on skill 3 to gain invincibility and high damage reflection. With that, he's able to prevent the enemy from rapidly reducing the HP of ally saints and sufficiently control the enemy. Attribute Allocation Divine Aquarius Camus' skill mechanism gives him an edge when his SPD is low. Therefore, the lower his SPD, the better. Moreover, high depth will decrease the damage dealt by Canis's damage reflection. So building depth shouldn't be considered either. Instead, focus on a combination of control, hit, and damage reflection. Optimal Cosmo lineup. Dragon's Chant plus Arrow plus Nether plus Double Horn Snake. Party lineup. Players may place two Aquarius in one party. Optimal lineup. Athena. Awaken Sayori Kido. Sir Plice Aries Shion. Awakened Aquarius Camus. Divine Cloth Aquarius Camus, Awakened Pisces Aphrodite, Athena, Sayori Kido, and Sir Plice Shion can ensure the party's safety and a smooth fight. Two Camus can inflict control effects through basic attack and skills. Finally, Pisces and Athena will slash the enemy. The party can protect and heal themselves while also efficiently controlling and damaging the enemy, making it a powerful lineup in PvP battles. Powerful Counterparty Gold Cygnus Hyoga, Awakened Sayori Kido, Divine Cop Libra Doko, Sir Plice Aries Shion, God of Death Thanatos, Divine Cloth Aquarius Camus. The party mainly relies on Golden Hyoga to increase Divine Camus' damage reflection, as well as prevent the enemy from depriving him of chances to reflect damage. Players may group Camus with Saints who deal high damage and are able to grant buffs. Players can also replace Gemini Canon with Divine Cloth Aquarius Camus in the Commander System to restrain the enemy while enhancing the party's efficacy. Alright, that's all for today. See you around.